Hey everybody, this is Blake here and welcome to my review of The Hangover 3. Now I am going to be apologizing in advance. I do not have my headset with me so my audio probably sucks. I'll try to speak as clearly as possible so you can understand what I'm saying. So I just thought I'd go ahead and warn you. Um, I loved the first Hangover. I thought it was one of the best movies of its year, which I believe was in 2009. Um, what can I say about it other than the fact that I thought it was hilarious? I thought the lines were golden. They were very quotable. I loved the reactionary comedy. Um, the characters are a lot of fun. I liked how they were surprisingly fleshed out. Certain traits of theirs could be argued as stereotypical, but that wasn't the extent of their characterizations, and I really appreciated that. Uh, the, the actors are having a lot of fun portraying them. They all had great comic timing and chemistry. Um, one, I think actually my favorite aspect of The Hangover, though, is you could take away all of the jokes and you'd have a pretty suspenseful thriller. Um, the, where the story develops, I just thought was very compelling. I wasn't sure where it was going to go. So as they figure this stuff out, I felt like I was completely with them. And, uh, you know, I, I thought it was, their situations were surprisingly suspenseful and intense. But that never undermined just how funny I thought the movie was. And so to me, it just fit my definition of what a great comedy is. Uh, I loved its unpredictability and the fact that it was, you know, it had balls. It was able to go areas that you often didn't see go and uh, com even comedies, even the raunchier comedies. But at the same time, it never became too overtly sleazy. Even the ending was just shocking definitely and it's gross but it's still you didn't see it coming or at least i didn't see it coming so that made it i thought all the funnier um but of course it was a huge huge hit so they made the hangover part part two and um when i first saw it in theaters i thought it was okay i thought it had enough laughs to keep it going um but i did feel that they pretty much recycled the same formula of the first film and in the end it came across as kind of a rehash um, if I, I believe I gave the first Hangover a three and a half out of four stars, uh, I'd probably say Hangover 2 was a two and a half out of four stars, but then I ended up seeing it again when it came out on DVD, and I liked it even less. Uh, it seemed like a lot of the things that amused me in the second film were no longer as prominent, and that might actually just because uh, when I, you see it on a big screen, you notice certain things that you don't notice on the small screen. For example, one of the most infamous scenes in that movie was when uh, they're in that, I think it's a strip club, and it turns out that um, the guy, the steward, slept with a transvestite hooker. And um, when you see the penis, it's like, oh my god! Well, when I saw it in theaters, I thought what made that scene funny was their reactions. But when you see on the small screen, I guess because there's just not enough room to fit everything uh, on just a television set, it didn't seem like it drew as much attention to the reactions. It was just more of the penis. And so it was just more disgusting than it was amusing. Uh, but in the end, I just felt that the majority of the jokes were, hey, this is just like what happened in the first film. It completely coasted off its predecessor's quality. And in the end, I just thought it was a very mediocre um, but watchable sequel. I'd probably say I'd now give it a two out of four stars. Um... But, of course, that also was a huge hit, and they were going to make a Hangover 3. And I actually started to really look forward to it. Why? Well, the director said that he wasn't going to just reuse the same story. This one was going to have, going to have a totally different format. Um, they also said it was going to be the end of the trilogy, so no more Hangover movies. And usually when they want to end something, most filmmakers, they're going to go all out and try their absolute best to make a satisfying conclusion. But then the reviews came out, they weren't very good, so I decided not to keep my expectations as high as they were anyway. Usually I don't trust critics when it comes to comedies, but I figured, you know, if it's better than Hangover 2, I guess I'll be satisfied. Well, is it better than Hangover 2? In some ways, yes. In other ways, no. Let me start with this. For the most part, yeah, they did change up the formula. The plot is, um, Alan's off his medication, so he's out of control he buys a draft and it causes this huge accident like you see in the trailer so his father totally stressed out has a heart attack and dies uh and after his funeral um the wolf pack his friends um they decide that they're going to stage an intervention and take him to a clinic where he can get cleaned up um unfortunately they don't get very far before you know they're driven off the road 
and these armed guys take them hostage and it's revealed that Chow from the previous movies had stolen a bunch of golden bricks from uh, John Goodman's character who's a drug lord who's actually uh, Black Doug's boss if you remember him. <laughs> um, I believe that he was played by Mike Epps. Uh, so now he's saying you guys better find Chow who's broken out of prison and get my gold back and, and that's pretty much the plot. Now occasionally it does feel like you're just watching a different variation of the same formula which to a point it is you know there does how do i explain this um it seems like the format changes in segments so the first part is finding chow um that doesn't last very long then the second part is um i'm just going to refer to it as breaking into a house which i actually thought was the most clever segment because it has a twist that i really did not see coming that i thought was surprisingly well done and inspired but the rest of the movie, it's uninspired when it came to the story. Uh, you know, yeah, occasionally it reaches the point where they start finding clues where they have to find Chow again. And um, it just, eventually, I, I kind of thought it got old. It just, the plot was different, but it was less exciting. I, I guess I'd sum it up as that. Uh, but okay, I could, I could overlook that. But is it funny? Because let's face it, that's what we are all interested in, the comedy. Sort of. Most great comedies, especially the first Hangover, they have big laughs, um, a handful of those, hopefully a dozen, but th these are the moments that are very quotable, that that stay with you long after you've seen the movie. Um, they're the parts where you just laugh out loud, they're the, they're, they're the highlights of the film. But most comedies aren't f like completely filled with those. Usually they'll have big laughs followed by a few, you know, actually quite a few smaller laughs, you know, that can tide you over until the next great moment. That's how The Hangover worked. The Hangover 2, I th I thought it did have quite a few big laughs, but it didn't have a lot of little laughs. So there were a lot of times where I just kind of felt it was a little bit flat and boring. Um, this is actually the opposite. It has a lot of little laughs, but no big laughs. Honestly, that's going to be the main problem I have with The Hangover 3. Because even though, yes, throughout the bulk of the running time, you know, I was chuckling at what they were saying or doing, I can't say I even remember the majority of what happened in terms of the comedy. Um, it's going to completely just evaporate from my mind. Another problem it has is it seemed like the filmmakers learned from some of the mistakes uh, that were leveled at Hangover 2, such as, you know, the redundancy. But the, one of the, uh, another issue that the Hangover 2 had was, you know, they figured that the, the gross-out humor was what everybody wanted, so they really played that up to the point where it was more disgusting than it was funny. Here, it's almost like they play it too safe. They don't make any risks. Honestly, I'm surprised that they even went ahead and made this a rated R film, because with just a few minor edits, they probably could have made it PG-13. Um, I'm presuming, yeah, it had to have been R. But, uh, because really, there aren't as many, you know, just, I don't know, gross-out humor. Um, honestly, like, one of the scenes that I guess was the grosser moments is that bit where you see in the trailers where, um, Zach Galifianakis and Melissa McCarthy are sharing that lollipop together. And that's about as disgusting as this movie gets. Um, and uh, I, I, I have nothing against clean humor, and I have nothing against gross-out humor, but I thought The Hangover, the first one, had a good balance of, you know, had some gross-out moments, but it didn't rely on them too much, whereas the second film relied on them too much, and this film just has none of that. And it just it plays it safe. Um, so in the end, I just kind of felt like everything about Hangover 3 was sort of going through the motions. Like, they felt like they had to make it instead of really wanting to make it. So uh, that's honestly all I have to say. In terms of acting, um, one of the problems I had with both this and The Hangover 2 is uh, it's they took various traits of these characters, the, mo the lesser desirable traits, and they expanded them. So while the first film, they were pretty well fleshed out to where, as I said, it wasn't the, the stereotypical aspects of them weren't the extent of the characterizations. The second and third film pretty much made that so. So, and in some cases, I actually didn't like a lot of these characters. Oddly, Phil actually seems to become more likable as these movies go along. But um, Alan, for example, at time, you know, in the first film, his quirks were cute. 
but in the second and even especially the third film i thought this guy was kind of an asshole and by this point he was not sympathetic at all so when they try to develop him it just seems forced and awkward uh really the biggest surprise the best use of a character in this movie was chow for those who thought he was incredibly annoying in the second film you actually probably will prefer him here because his mannerisms are toned down a bit and they do flesh out that character a bit more you do see more of his ruthless side um he's much more cynical this time around uh i mean you're not going to like him if you didn't like him in the previous films he's still just as flamboyant as before but uh it did seem like they scaled him down a little bit another thing i'm going to point out considering this is the third film and you expect them to go all out uh it is much smaller in scale than the second film was the second film you know, like it or not, there's no denying that they did a decent job exploiting its setting. Um, so there was a lot of uh, you know, crazy antics. You see them starting a revolution of some sort or a riot. Uh, there's this epic car chase. And um, here, it, it, even though there's kind of a car chase at the end, it's nowhere near as exciting as the second film was with that car chase. Uh, there's nothing really epic that happens to any of these people. Even when they have the scene like where he scales the building, it just kind of felt, I don't know, I, I just wasn't that exciting compared to the, the more action-y oriented sequences of the second film. Which maybe was for the better because the second film took, you know, the story to ridiculous extremes. Um, but uh, I just thought that was kind of weird though. This, it really almost felt like The Hangover 3 was very lighthearted and... Um, I don't know, I just uninspired. That's how I describe it as. Uh, but would I say it is better than the second film? Uh, I don't know. The second film had more high points, but also more low points. This one is just in the middle. I think there's less of a chance of you hating or even just disliking this movie. Um, if it wasn't a Hangover sequel, I'd probably say that it was okay. But since it is a Hangover sequel, I guess I'd probably put it in the same league as Hangover 2, just for different reasons. Um, you know. I guess just once again, Hangover 2 had more high points, but also a lot more low points. This one's just in the middle. Very few high points. Actually, I don't think there were really any high points, but also no real low points either. Um, so that is really all I have to say. It's better than Bridesmaids, at least. <laughs> I hated the shit out of Bridesmaids. Um, that movie pissed me off so much. Uh, but that is not either here or there. Um, I obviously did not do a written review of this, but I have done written reviews of, shit, what did I do? Um, Uninvited, which is about a mutant cat that eats people aboard a yacht. Uh, the Accidental Spy, a Jackie Chan movie. Shanghai Nights, another Jackie Chan movie. Uh, Smiley, an internet-themed horror film. And Dragon, a Donnie Yen movie. Uh, then the next one, I believe, will be Detective D and the Mystery of Phantom Flame. Um, weird ass title, <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, go ahead and please check those out. Will there be a critiquing the critics episode this week? I don't know. This is actually going to be a very hectic week. I'm going to try, but I also tried last week and that didn't really work out. So we'll just have to see, please be patient. Um, for those who miss my creepy bald guy reviews, um, you should be glad to know that I am sort of beginning pre-production on my next one. I'm not going to reveal what it is. I am sort of changing the subject up a bit, but uh, so keep an eye out for that too. That will probably be after the next Critique the Critics though. So that is all I've got. I'd say if you liked The Hangover 2, The Hangover 3 is probably worth watching in theaters, although I wouldn't spend too much money on it, so no more than a matinee. Um, if you did not like Hangover 2 but liked Hangover 1, I'd say wait till this comes out on DVD. Uh, once again, you don't really want to spend too much money on it. But if you didn't like either of the Hangover films, then don't bother with this one. So that is all I've got. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.